Hopefully you enjoyed that segment of me um, cooking some pasta. Oh, it's dang. This is real good. Let's look at some frequently asked questions. Everybody wants to know about Rob's channel. Because that seems to be the number one question on my video already today. Uh, Rob is working with YouTube. They're obviously not... They're obviously not in the office on Saturday and Sunday when this incident happens, so I assume on Monday when everybody gets back in the office, this is going to get taken care of. Yeah, that's the only thing I'm going to address. So I'm going to finish eating this pasta. Um, yeah, then I'll figure out what I want to do. Okay, so pasta was good. Now I'm going to go where my boat is kept and do some fishing. So if you're new to this channel, which I bet you 99% of the people are because people don't even know that this is my sophomore year at University of Alabama. Last year I lived in the dorms, so obviously I had nowhere to park my boat, and I was on the fishing team, and I wanted, I wanted to fish as many tournaments as I could. I didn't do a lot of YouTube videos last year. I just fished tournaments, enjoyed college. Now I have a different focus. I kind of want to do college, do YouTube, still fish tournaments. We just added it all in there. But this is... I consider it my garage in Alabama. What this garage would cost in Chicago is probably, oh, I did the math. I called some place up. It's five times cheaper here than it would in Chicago. So there's no way I could afford something like this in Chicago. But here, I get an awesome space, and I keep all my stuff in here. I was thinking about getting rid of it since I am allowed to park my boat in front of my house. Then I realized that's probably not a good idea because I have a lot of stuff. And just people messing with my boat drunk college kids probably not a good idea to just leave my boat in front of my house so we're gonna keep the we're gonna keep the storage unit this year there's that spiel if you're wondering what this is well i'm going fishing so i need to grab some fishing stuff here's the plan i've got a big spook a dp jig and a gary Yamamoto wacky worm on let's go fishing right now though we have made it to the lake uh, I can't bring the big camera due to the fact that I'm fishing out of a little John boat today. You guys know what John boat it is. It takes in a lot of water. So we're going to rock the chesty. Hopefully we catch some bass. My buddy actually couldn't go. He has to get some work done. So let's do some bassing. Well, we are in the John boat right now. We are headed across the lake in search of some giant fish. Five, oh, there one just busted on that point. This lake is kind of by where I live, so I keep the boat here, the little John boat that I have. And I didn't think it was gonna be this pressured, but there are two other fishermen out here. Thought this was gonna be my little secret honey hole where I can come and catch 30 pounds. Probably still catch 30 pounds though, right? Well, let's just say this is going real good real good right now we're pretty much on the mother load maybe i need to put the spook down but i feel like i could get a big bite doing this hello hi oh hell i gotta go i gotta i gotta get off the phone hold on all right well i was on the phone with my mother just hooked the first the first bass oh it's a toad it's a toad there we go. Caught that one on the little wacky worm. Well, there are bass in here, folks. There are bass in here. Not sure if there's any big bass in here, but there are bass in here. Wow. That's a state record, folks. All right, let me get back on the phone with my mother. Hello? Well, folks, I was on the phone with my mother trying to book some flights. That fish interrupted me. So I guess I just need to throw this wacky worm around. I don't know if you can see that, there are fish busting everywhere out there. And of course, as soon as I get over here, they stop busting. Oh God. What is this? Oh, baby. Oh, it's a striper. I mean, it's a... Oh. It's a spot. Oh, no, it's not a spot. It's a largemouth. What am I talking about? 
It's just a really clear one. Okay, so those are bass that are busting out here. They're just not very big. Still be a fun video. Caught that one on the wacky worm. I saw these fish busting literally in the middle of the lake and just casted my worm out there and just went to ate it. I think the reason why they weren't eating my spook was because it was too big. I'm just throwing five inch green pumpkin Senkos just on a one out hook. There's a cute blonde girl walking her dog. Should probably ask her to fish in my boat. I think I pick her up in this boat. It's a 2017 Camel Edition. She'd probably be right all over this. If there was a guy with an Audi R8 and then there was just me pulled up with this John boat, I definitely went her over with this thing. This is the chick magnet. She'd be like, wow, you got that super spook on. I have to freaking talk to you. Oh, her dog's giving her a hard time. Oh, she's mad at her dog now. Oh, the dog's calmed down. Oh, nope, oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 she smacked the dog. What the, what happened? I was out here just, you know, they were busting like no other, and then I come over here and there's nothing. Yep, I'm on the tossy wacky worm in the middle of the lake pattern. Yeah, what's up, man? Good, how are you? Really? Yeah, I'm trying to catch some bass, not really working out. All right, I can't catch him, but this guy can. That's a good one. Drop shot. That's probably why I'm not catching him. That, that's making the vlog. Well, I just got done meeting some fellow anglers from Illinois, and I just got a huge backlash. So me. It was nice meeting you guys. I'll take one six. Just one. That's all I'm asking for. You would think a giant would just eat this spook right now. You would just think. Wouldn't you think so? You would say, hey, there's a giant about to eat this spook. Right before dark, Alabama, shad everywhere in this lake. No. They don't like eating spooks. They only like drop shots. Six pounder, Bama Bass video. Bama Bass, calling the inner Bama Bass. Right here, six pounder, eight pounder, 10 pounder. Nope, in the trees. Well, that obviously did not go as best as I thought it would go. I did catch that fish though, if you guys want to know. Little green pumpkin uh, wacky worm with a, uh, that seven foot rod I was using in yesterday's video. With a one knot circle hook, that's that. Pack this boat up, get out of here. So all my roommates got back and I asked them to wait for me to go to Walmart and uh, to get wings. Oh, oh, wow. Dude, what up? Hey, hey wow. Yeah, those are real good, dude. Well, I asked them, I was like, hey, I'm gonna go fishing for a little bit. After I'm done, let's go to Walmart to get some essentials and then go get wings, go get uh, some wings. And then, you know, I get here, everybody's gone and they went to Walmart and got wings without me. So I don't know what I'm gonna eat for dinner now. Do you guys get original or boneless? Original. Original. Um, could I get 10 liquid gold? Uh, Alex? Oh, yeah. The wings came. I don't feel like a loser now, because I'm eating wings. All right, so we had the brilliant idea to fly the drone at night. I don't know if this is gonna work, but it might. What do you think? Probably.